Hello guys, this is Joy. Welcome to my channel. And this series is a series of tutorial on uh, Fortran programming. So in this video, we are going to learn how to use go to and uh, cycle statement. And we will see, uh, we will also see how to use nested if statements. Okay, so uh, let's construct a program to find the leap years uh, within uh, 2001 to 2020. Okay, so for this, uh, let's define an integer say i for which we are going to run the loop okay so now let's create a loop do say and uh, it should run from 2001 to 2020 now uh, we are going to use an uh, use a comment called cycle uh, okay so uh, we can do this program in various way in uh, in various easiest way but uh, i am going to write this program in in a way to so how cycle how the command cycle works so for this uh, we are uh, we are also going to use the mod function uh, to uh, calculate the modulus so just uh, write if mod so now uh, we have to put two arguments uh, within uh, this uh, parenthesis mod uh, so just uh, put i and comma uh, we are going to divide it with 4 because to check uh, whether a year is leap year or not we have to divide it with uh, 4 and we have to check whether the modulus is 0 or not but uh, i am going to write it uh, in uh, some different way so uh, i am going to write it like this if mod say not equals to uh, 0 then then cycle so uh, so what this uh, command is actually doing is that uh, cycle means uh, check whether this uh, condition is true or not so if this condition is true then cycle that is uh, continue to the loop else print print uh, you can see uh, that uh, i am uh, i am writing this uh, print comment outside this if loop so just print uh, the just print the say just print the value of i that is this year is a, a leap year okay so uh, let's try to build and run the program so so this is the output so as you can see it uh, it prints all the leap years so uh, that is 2004 2008 2012 16 and 20 so let me explain it once more so I use this cycle command to uh, check whether this uh, whether this condition is true or not. If this condition is true, then uh, go, uh, go to the uh, uh, just uh, run the loop again. Uh, don't execute any further commands. So this is uh, what cycle is doing here. This command cycle is doing here. Okay. So uh, let's see how to construct a loop without using any loop command. So just so now we are going to use uh, the do uh, go to comment. So for this, uh, we are going to initialize the value for i to 2001. Then mm. we are going to increase the value of i by one. Okay, first let me write the program. Then I then I will explain. So this is the program will look like. So at first I define the value of i to 2001. Then I increase the value of uh, i by 1. Now then I use two ifs. So this is the structure of nested if. So uh, this if actually works like this. Say if say condition 1. Okay. Then do the statement uh, anything. Sorry then then uh, statement one or uh, instead of statement one you can use another if statement okay so if cause a condition two then uh, the statement so uh, this is how this if loop can uh, go on and uh, uh, this uh, this structure of this if is called nested if. Now uh, I use another statement that is go to. 
so what is uh, go to statement means so the structure of the go to statement uh, is like this so go to n n is an integer as you can see i assign here an integer value uh, to this line that is 10 then here i write go to 10 then i am commanding for 10 to uh, go to this line so what is happening here is that say i equals to uh, 2001 then i increases its value by 1 then i uh, i write uh, a condition within if statement so i write i uh, less than equals to 2020 then i wrote another if uh, statement where i am checking uh, whether i is divisible by 4 or not if i is divisible by 4 then print i and here i write end if so one thing i would like to mention is that so if you if you use say uh, four or five if uh, conditions then you should uh, end all the ifs uh, with end if statements so you have to be careful with this while using nested if statements now just uh, just come to this line say go to 10 so after this line i am commanding in this uh, i am commanding for turn to go to 10 that is this line so now i have value say 2002 so i the value will increase by one and it becomes 2003 so now it will again check this uh, condition so it is less than equal to 2020 so then it will go to the second if statement then uh, it will check whether it is divisible by 4 or not then if it is divisible by 4 then it will print i but if it is not then it will uh, again come to this line then uh, again go to this uh, uh, line number 10 so uh, this is how i construct a loop without using uh, any uh, loop command that is do and do while so there are various ways that uh, you can construct a loop in fortran so using go to statement is uh, uh, one of them okay so uh, so this is how i construct a loop uh, and then uh, the value will increase by one and it becomes 2004 then uh, it, it checks whether it's divisible by 4 or not and it, yes it is divisible by 4 uh, then it uh, it should uh, print the value of i so it goes uh, like this up to 2020 so let's uh, try to run it so so this is the answer so uh, the first segment is for uh, wh why when we use the cycle statement and the second statement and the second section of the output is for uh, when we use this uh, go to statement so this is how you can use the cycle and go to statement and uh, this is for it now so see you in the next video